I'm Guha Bala. I'm a studio head and co-founder of Vicarious Visions. And I'm Paul Ritchie. I'm the studio head and co-founder of Toys for Bob. Could you guys tell us a little bit about what we're here to see today? Uh, we're here to see Skylanders Swap Force, the latest installment in the Skylanders uh, series uh, of uh, bringing in a new level of magic and bringing toys to life. And most important, what we're here to see, I think, is the Swap Force toys themselves. Uh, I mean, Skylanders is really defined by this interaction between toys and a video game that's magical. You know, Swap Force, you now have these toys that you can pop apart and reassemble and configure your own character. And I think that's one of the most exciting things we've ever shown. Can you guys share with us a little bit about how exactly this works in the game with the new character? So there are 16 Swap Force characters. Uh, these Swap Force characters separate, and so the top part determines how you fight, and the bottom part determines how you move. Uh, and uh, players, portal masters, can take the characters apart and mix and match uh, between any of these 16 characters to be able to create over 256 combinations, create their own characters and ways to play. How did working with the Toy Story writers help build this universe? Uh, well, you know, we worked with Alec and Joel on Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, and I think what it brought to that experience was the world building of Skylands and the background story of how these plastic figures could transform into living creatures in Skylands. And so they have a, a great depth of knowledge about how you assemble a story, how you integrate characters in a very playful way. You know, they had been nominated for the Toy Story screenplay. So uh, we have taken their work and gone forward then in Giants and now in Swap Force, building on Skylands and, and creating these all new stories. Uh, in Swap Force, we were seeing a whole new area, the Cloud Break Islands, and this you know vol volcano that's filling Skylands with magic and you know, how to threaten, of course, by our, our villain, Chaos. So, uh, I mean, I think it's all based on the magic that they helped us create, and we've just taken it, you know, the next steps further. What did you find interesting about building Skylander's story? You know, what's really interesting about building a Skylander story is the fantastical world of the Skylands, a limitless world that uh, we can explore and define with whimsy, but also heroic stories. And there are a cast of characters that are returning favorites. Flynn the Balloonist really uh, offers a ton of comic relief and uh, is a great narrator throughout the game. There are heroic voices like the voice of Eon, the original Portal Master. Uh, and then there are new characters as well that we meet along the way. Of course, our favorite villain, uh, Chaos, is back uh, with a nefarious plot that we're here to foil. Uh, and filling in all the beats really allows us to uh, go to the Cloud Brick Islands, a place that players have never seen before, uh, a place that's native for the Swap Force Skylanders, uh, and um, fill it out in a way that, with a level of richness that uh, I think is really going to provide something very special. How did Skylanders, which does have a lot of toys involved, compared to the Toy Story universe? Boy, I don't know how to answer that one. To be completely honest, I don't know that they're comparable. You know, Skylanders is an, an entirely original universe and cast of characters and set of stories. So we've really focused on creating our own identity. And then in Swap Force, you know, we've tried to go forward with a story that supports this idea of the characters that separate and reform and how you can use them to find your own best character. I would say in addition to that, uh, the Skylanders characters and the Swap Force characters uh, are created to be able to bring toys to life and really uh, enjoy that in a video game. And so when we design the characters in the universe, it's about the physical play experience and it's also about the play experience within the game. And so when we design the characters and the collection of characters that play together, it's with that single purpose in mind. Um, Again, like Paul, I'm not sure how to answer the question on the Toy Story characters, but of course that was done for an entirely different format.